Yes, so again, oh, my people. Good day and welcome back to our YouTube channel, oh, my distinguished viewers. This our channel, Nabi, Everyday People's Voice, all of us know now. We say we bring every breaking news and all what they happen for this country, we they bring up to now. Very close. You just see also. And our source of information, they very correct and accurate. Now make that the colors the leaders of breaking news in the world. My country people, if this is your first time to come across our channel, I beg, make you help us subscribe, like, and share our videos. Thank you very much for staying with us. My country people, I beg, this video will not want to watch so eh? Now you must watch the video. I beg, we could have watch out to the end. We could have know what they try to talk. Make it not be like that we they talk up. We could have hear the in-depth analysis of what they talk about this video. We could have watch the video, we could have understand them very well. And I don't waste our time. We could dive into the video at once. Give the documents from you under Nigeria Trade Office Ghana. Uh, purchase of two units of project vehicles, uh, SUV, 160 million naira. Is this a Nigeria-made vehicle? 160 million naira. Which kind of truck is this? I mean, Sir, they are, it's for Watch Ghana. No, 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 you make your notes. Okay. So we avoid the crossfire. I don't want to just show that there's a huge gap between what we preach and what we do in your ministry. Understand our extent of dependence. What is the balance of trade between Nigeria and China? What is the balance of trade between Nigeria and countries under the European Union? What is the balance of trade between Nigeria and the United Kingdom? Most of our major trading partners. And when I talk about balance of trade, delete oil. The other one is an international product. So that we can appreciate how much we have gained in terms of ex giving all the money we spent over the years on export promotion and all the institutions we've set up, whether they are banks, they are commission, whatever they are, so if you give us a window, whether we are not just throwing money away, we probably have far more institutions, whether financial institutions or other commissions, with the one primary objective to promote export. So by the time you give us this figure, it will give us an idea. Number two, not be found in your office and be found elsewhere. He claimed he to know where you were. I don't know how he, whether he's tracking you. But there is one major thing that I've seen in all the committees that I've attended. And this is something the senior has to look at. Every time Nigeria has to travel, including your ministry, we are, I use the word, and excuse me, but we need to be brutally frank, but not brutal, brutal to people, but in terms of calling the spade a spade. We have, we always have the larger delegation of Nigerians to trade missions. Now I see your proposal, you have trade mission in Geneva. And you are going to spend almost over one point seven billion Naira to maintain your Geneva office, which means ideally you have trade experts in that office. And when I used to go to Geneva, where Nigeria ministers go with 30 man delegation, America will use their trade officers in Geneva to attend those meetings. They are just pure technical people. In Nigeria, the minister will lead the delegation. And by the time you multiply now, rather than, I don't know what the Esther code is now, times water zone, whatever it is, you'll find that ministers in try to help put there are people on trips, they don't attend the meetings, and they spend most of that time shopping at the expense of taxpayers. And that is space substantially why you will find huge overhead, huge overhead. I'm just asking myself, you are going to spend uh, in your ministry 900 and 
that is headquarters alone. Nine hundred and five million naira. And sometimes when you put for two uh, zero two kobo, I really don't know how these numbers are generated because nobody sees kobo anymore. It doesn't exist. <laughs> And every budget they put it there as if it was meant to be a joke. Budget is meant to be an honest statement, not a formality. So, you spend so much money on overhead. Number two, you are arguing the case for waivers. For me, the most corrupt tools of government is to make law for everyone, and then for those who favor, you now, get, you now grant them waiver to preach that law. Government will be seen to be fair to all. If we are going to have fair competition and we have opted for free market, why should we even have thing called waiver? I think my plea to Mr. Chairman sir, is that going forward, the National Assembly has the right to legislate, to curtail the power of those who exercise this discussion because they are abused. Um, Honorable Minister, be clear, this is not about you, but there has to be a day to wake up. You know, somebody asked about Volkswagen, about Pujo Automobile, about Leyland, about, uh, there was one in Baoji where they produced tractors. Stay up. It is our trade policies. This submission, recklessly in my view, to so-called WTO rules and so on, and then we expose ourselves to all kinds of goods and services coming in. Let me just give you a, ask you one question. When you go to a restaurant, and as the Minister of Trade, you pick a toothpick and it's made in China, that toothpick, is it legally imported and drawing the forex from our increasingly poverty central bank? Or how does it come in? Other our laws, should toothpick no made in Nigeria be found in the Nigeria market? I, I'm going for this ridiculous one because each time I go out and I see toothpick, they have this small, small packaging, nice packaging. But it's for is important, and then we we, we talk about uh, promoting trade. How? So there's something you need to speak to, and um, okay. And we time is always a problem here. Provided that next time, sir, we will not be rushed to approve money because we are in a hurry. Because those who pay taxes don't earn the money in a hurry. They, they sweat. We must be sure not assuming, sir. No, excuse me. Custom, custom officer implements trade policies. They do not formulate the tariff policies. They collect what has been imposed on them. Yeah, but you shouldn't be tired so much that not to know the truth. It's my father. It's my father. He knows we are good friends. So I, I just want to say, uh, Madam, looking at this thing, we spend a lot of money on the Ministry of Trade. But maybe by the time I see the balance of trade between us and our major trading partners. I will be able to see, and I would think in future, we ought to be able to say, over the past five years, this is the growth we have recorded, or this is how we have targeted, so that we have overall view, and I'll accept the question. Should we spend money in a ministry that is not promoting local production? I want us to set up a target, sir, where we should say, for example, all the cars in Nigeria, all those tires they were using in the past, not during Mongo Park era, just in the 80s, they were in Nigeria in the early 90s. You have Machelin, you have Dunlop, you have uh, several of them that were producing tires in Nigeria using rubber that is made or planted in my part of the in my part of the country. And this, all of these are gone now. Any car you see on the road, the tire is imported. What are your plans to make a review? The reason I ask you, I didn't come to the Senate to lament. And Mr. President said during our campaign, and I, I believe 
he meant it. It is can do spirit. So we are not going to continue, as this budget suggests, with old traditions. Right? So you need to tell us what are we going to do differently to get all the tires we are using in Nigeria made in Nigeria. The policy that brought them before was by government that says in the military, unfortunately, I mean, uh, rather uh, uh, interestingly, that says if you want to sell tires in Nigeria, locate in Nigeria, if you want to take to clothe 200 million Nigerians, locate the textile factories in Nigeria. If you want to, because the only thing we have to sell to the world is our population. And so if you want to patronize that huge market of 200 million people, Come my friend, locate in Nigeria. That was the policy. It didn't occur by accident. And once we revise the policies, now, from what you are telling me, all the Toyotas on the road, and we have per, perhaps per capita the highest number of Toyota vehicles in Nigeria. Thank you. I'm using watch. We you. need to have a policy that seeks to make a complete change. Otherwise, year in year, I will go through these rituals. Not, you will complete your tenure in four years. Our dependence will be much more than it was before you came. That has been the lot of your predecessors. I mean, that not be the lot. Amen. Of you Amen. and of the Thank you very much, uh, you, most sir. distinguished. Uh,